good morning students and welcome to today's maths class so in the previous class we was we started with the chapter addition right then we saw what is addition first then what we did we saw different methods of addition so we did count and add so we saw various problems on counting and adding then we did addition by counting fingers right so add by counting fingers then we did addition by using tally marks in the last class so what you do when you are doing addition using tally marks so you see the number that they've given so they here they have given five so you draw five tallies or five lines like this so one two three four five and they've told five plus two so we'll draw five line five tallies here and two tallies here and then you count the number of tallies so five plus two is seven so we saw various examples on addition by tallies so seven plus three so we did seven tallies and then for three we did three tally marks and then we counted all the tally marks so seven plus three was equal to ten then two plus five also same you'll do you'll draw two tally marks for two then five tallies for five and then uh, count them count the total number of tallies so that will be two plus five will be seven so you'll have seven tally marks when you draw and count same with five plus three for five we'll draw five tally marks and for three we'll draw three tally marks and then we'll count it so when you count you'll have five plus three equal to eight tally marks all right so we saw various examples on addition by tally marks then we saw what is adding zero so what happens when you add zero to a number whenever you add zero to any number you get the answer as the number itself your result will be the number itself because zero means nothing right zero means nothing so whenever you're adding nothing to any number you'll get the answer as the number itself so here we saw three plus zero so three plus zero will be three only okay then we saw two plus zero which is also equal to two then we saw different examples so here i have zero plus one how much is zero plus one zero plus one will be one itself then zero plus five so zero plus five will be five only okay zero plus two two and one plus zero one okay so we saw so many examples on addition by zero so zero plus nine will be nine two plus zero will be two 0 plus 8 is 8, 0 plus 6 is 6 only, 1 plus 0 is 1 only. Okay, like this, whenever you add any big any number to 0, you will get the answer as the number itself. So, in today's class, we will be learning a new method of addition that is addition on number line. So, we will use number line to add two numbers. First of all, what is number line? A number line is nothing but it is a straight line with numbers written on it. What is it? It is a straight line with numbers written in an order in at an equal distance. Okay, so now how to do addition on number line? Now here the problem is 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. So we have 3 plus 4 equal to 7. So first you will do what you will do you will draw a number line or if a number line is given to you you circle the number three here how they have done then after circling the number three you count four because it is three plus four so here they have done one two three four right so from three we went to four by jumping one this is one then four to five is two then this is three and this is four so from when we counted from three uh, we counted four right so three plus four is equal to seven so wherever you've reached circle that number so the number here number here is seven so three plus four is equal to seven okay so this is addition using number line so let's see various problems on addition using number line here we have two plus two is equal to four so where is 2 2 is over here right so we'll mark 2 first and then plus 2 so we'll do 1 
2. Okay, then we have 3 plus 3. So, where is 3? Let's uh, circle 3 first. So, this is 3 over here. Now, 3 plus 3 there was. So, we'll count to uh, 3 steps. So, this is 1, this is 2 and this is 3. Right. So, what is the number here? We have reached 6. So, 3 plus 3 is 6. Okay. Then 1 plus 4. So, let's find 1 first. So, 1 is over here. So, circle 1. Then plus 4. So, we'll start from 1. This is like this. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, what number we reached here? Let's circle this number. What is this number? This number is 5. So, 1 plus 4 is 5. Okay. Then 3 plus 2. So, first we'll circle 3 and then we'll add 3 to 2 to it. So, this is 1 and 2. So, what number we reached? We reached the number 5. So, 3 plus 2 is 5. Okay, then 2 plus 3. So, circle 2 on the number line first, then add 3 to it. So, 1, 2 and 3. So, which is the number here? It is 5. So, 2 plus 3 is 5. Now 5 plus 1. So 5 is over here. So you circle 5. Then you count 1. So 1. So how much is 5 plus 1? 5 plus 1 is 6. So we'll write 6 here. Then 2 plus 0. Let's circle 2 first. So 2 is over here. Now 0. They're asking 2 plus 0. Now how can you add 0? 0 means nothing. So what we'll do is will 2 plus 0 will be 2 only. So, you will not add anything to on the number line. So, you just circle 2. So, 2 plus 0 will be 2 itself. Okay. So, this is how you do addition using number line. Now, what we will do is we will see different problems which are given in your textbooks. Okay. So, page number 91 in your maths in your textbooks. Okay. So, addition on number line. So, let's see what they're telling here. Are you ready to play a little game with Jumpy the frog? So, he, this is Jumpy the frog. So, Jumpy is standing on step 0. So, he first jumps 4 steps. Okay. So, he first jumps 4 steps. Then, he jumps 3 more steps. So, Jumpy has now reached step 7. So, 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. Okay, we can also show Jumpy jumping on a number line. Here first jumped 4 steps and then 3 steps. So, 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. Okay, so help Jumpy move on the number line and find the sum of the numbers given. So, 2 plus 2 is there here. So, first now Jumpy is on 0. So, from 0 first he will move to 2. So, first you help him move to 2. So, this is 2. Okay. So, circle this number 2. Then, from 2, he has to go 2 more steps ahead because it is 2 plus 2. So, this is 1 and this is 2. Right. So, this is 2 plus 2. What is the number over here? It is 4. So, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. So, write 4 here. Then, 6 plus 3. Now, the frog is on 0. So, first he will go to 6 like this. So, first he will jump to 6. He jumped to the number 6. Now, what he will do? He has to add, go 3 more steps ahead. So, this is 1. Then, 2. And, 3. Right. So, first sorry, we will circle 6 here. And now, 6 plus 3 is how much? It is 9. So, circle 9. So, 6 plus 3 is 9. So, write 9 over here. Then, 0 plus 5. So, 0 is here. Alright. So, 0 is here. And plus 5 you have to do. So, what you will do? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, this is 5. So, he reached 5. 0 plus 5 will be 5 only. So, write 5 here. So, this is how you do addition on number line. Okay. 
so this is addition using number line next we have something called addition stories so let's see what are addition stories so addition stories what are addition stories they are nothing but word problems so they've given you a story and then they are asking you uh, they are asking you to find the total or the sum uh, with respect to the story now first let's see one story here there are six birds sitting on a tree so they are telling that on a tree there are six birds who, which are sitting and then three more come there so three more birds come to that tree now how many birds are there in all so what is the problem here they are asking how many birds are there in all in all means you have to add okay so first how many tree uh, uh, birds were sitting on the tree there were six birds sitting on the tree then how many birds came to the tree next three three more came right so six plus three how much is six plus three it is nine so how many birds were there on the tree now there are total nine birds on the tree okay so john had seven coins okay john had seven coins his father gave him three more so john has three coins already his father is giving him three more coins so how many coins does john john have now so first john had seven coins then his father gave him three coins now they are asking how many coins does he have now okay so seven plus three will be ten so seven plus three is ten coins so john now has ten coins now joe has five balloons and mary has six how many balloons are there in all so how many balloons joe has he has five balloons and mary she has six balloons so five plus six so five plus six will be eleven so the total they have eleven balloons okay then tom has three yellow pencils and two red pencils how many pencils does he have so tom has how many yellow pencils he has three yellow pencils right so we'll write three here and how many red pencils he has he has two red pencils so in how many total pencils he has three plus two how much is three plus two it is five okay there are four roses and two sunflowers in my garden so how many flowers are there in all so in my garden there are four rose flowers and two sunflowers so how many roses are there there are four and sunflowers there are two so total how many flowers are there they are asking so i have to what i have to do i have to add the number of roses and the number of sunflowers that is four plus two so what is four plus two it is six okay four plus two is six now five boys were playing in the playground three girls also join in so in a playground first boys were playing how many boys were playing five boys were playing then three girls also come and join so how many girls came and joined them three so then now they are asking how many kids are there so total how many kids are there that is number of boys plus number of girls so number of boys is five and number of girls is three so five plus three is equal to eight so total number of kids playing in the playground are eight okay so there are eight kids playing in the uh, playground now this is what is addition stories so they'll give you some stories regarding addition and then you have to add and write the answers for those stories okay so let's see the few stories which are given in your textbooks so page number 92 in your textbooks so they've given you an example ria has four chocolates amit has five chocolates so they're telling ria has four chocolates and amit has five chocolates now you have to find total how many chocolates they have together so number of chocolates ria has is four number of chocolates amit has is five so four plus five is equal to nine so when 
you can either add on your fingers or you can count also because pictures are given here correct so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so Rhea and Amit together they have 9 chocolates all together okay then next there's another example Meena has 5 pencils Millie has 2 pencils so how many pencils they have together so now what are the number of pencils with Meena she has 1 2 3 4 5 pencils and Millie Millie has 1 2 pencils so how much is 5 plus 2 now if you catch 5 in your hand okay and add two more fingers five fingers in your hand and then add two more fingers so you'll have five plus six then seven so five plus two is seven so Meena and Millie together have seven pencils okay now next one work out the following addition stories so Surya has three balls Tuna, Tina has two balls okay so they have dash plus dash is equal to dash balls together so first we'll write how many balls surya has how many he has he has three right he has three and then how many does tina has she has two so first write here three then two three plus two how much is three plus two 3 plus 2 will be 5 correct so they have 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 balls all together then Kiran bought 2 toffees Rohan bought 5 toffees so they bought how many toffees together so first let's write how many toffees Kiran bought so how many toffees he bought Kiran bought 2 toffees and Rohan bought 5 toffees so number of toffees which Rohan bought was 5 okay then they're asking 2 plus 5 is equal to dash toffees together so kiran and rohan together have how many toffees 2 plus 5 how much is 2 plus 5 it will be 7 okay 2 plus 5 is 7 so they bought 2 plus 5 is equal to 7 toffees together then neha has three kites mohan has five kites so they have dash plus dash is equal to dash kites to together so let's find out how many kites they have together so ne number of kites with neha is how much three so they have three plus then mona how many kites mona has mona has five kites then you have to find how many kites they have all together so number of kites with neha is three number of kites with mona is five so that is three plus five so how much is three plus five it is equal to eight so neha and mona have three plus five is equal to eight kites all together okay they have eight kites all together so this completes your third chapter that is addition okay now i'll give you your homework all right what i want you to do is i'll give you a few problems add them using number line method okay you can draw a number line and do it so add using number line so first question is 4 plus 5 then second is 3 plus 4 then third question is 4 plus 4 then fourth question 1 plus 3 and last question is 5 plus 1 okay so these five questions you all add using number line okay now let's solve this num uh, value based question so Nimi has four toys Mini has three toys now both of them can play together with dash toys so this is like a story problem right so Nimi has four and Mini has three toys so now if they want to play together with all the toys how many toys they will have four plus three how much is four plus three it is seven so they have seven toys okay higher order thinking skills add the following write the number name of the sum 
ओके वन हैज बीन डन फॉर यू सो सी हाउ दे हैव डन टू प्लस थ्री इज हाउ मच टू प्लस थ्री इज फाइव एंड फाइव प्लस फोर इज नाइन ओके सो देन दे हैव रिटर्न नंबर नेम ऑफ नाइन सो यह फर्स्ट वॉट विल डू ना दे हैव गिवन अ लाइन अंडर टू नंबर्स मीन्स यू हैव टू एड दो टू नंबर्स फर्स्ट ना वन प्लस जीरो प्लस सिक्स दे हैव गिवन सो एड वन प्लस सिक्स फर्स्ट सो वेन यू एड सॉरी जीरो प्लस सिक्स फर्स्ट सो जीरो प्लस सिक्स इज सिक्स सो यूल राइट दैट देन वन प्लस सिक्स हम इज वन प्लस सिक्स इट इज सेवन सो वॉट इज द नंबर नेम फॉर सेवन इट इज एस सी वी ई एन सेवन देन थ्री प्लस वन प्लस टू फर्स्ट अंडर द नंबर्स थ्री एंड वन अ लाइन इज देर फर्स्ट एट थ्री प्लस वन थ्री प्लस वन इज फोर प्लस टू इज सिक्स ओके सो फोर प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू सिक्स सो नंबर नेम फॉर सिक्स इज एस आई एक्स सिक्स ओके देन जीरो प्लस फाइव प्लस थ्री सो फर्स्ट एड फाइव प्लस थ्री हाउ मच इज फाइव प्लस थ्री इट इज एट एंड हाउ मच इज जीरो प्लस एट इट इज एट ओनली सो नंबर नेम ऑफ एट इज ई आई जी एच टी एट ऑल राइट सो दिस वॉज एडिशन चैप्टर नाउ फॉर योर होमवर्क वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू डू इज आई गिवन यू दिस प्रॉब्लम हेयर राइट एड यूजिंग नंबर लाइन सो सॉल्व दीज फाइव क्वेश्चन एंड देन complete this activity on page number 93 so what they have told okay so what you do is you uh, just so add and complete this so 1 plus 4 right how much is 1 plus 4 here then 3 plus 2 how much is 3 plus 2 then 6 plus 3 okay complete these addition so this is your homework now if you are not understanding how to draw a number line then you can look on Page number ninety one. Here they have given you know you can use a num you can draw a number line like this only and solve those problems. Okay, all right. So I'll see you all in the next class, student. Oh, students, thank you so much.